Um, hello, Stadio here, um, and this tutorial is going to be on creating a rainbow trail using the new rainbow, I mean, using the new trail feature on Roblox. Um, if you don't understand how to use trails, uh, most of it will be explained in this video, but if you still don't understand or you want to just quickly uh, look at it beforehand, there will be a link in the description to my video on how to use trails. Um, so let's get started. So we're just going to create a new place. Okay, so firstly what we're going to do is we're going to create a trail. And we're going to put the trail in server storage because that's where we're going to request it from later on. Um, and we're gonna, I'm going to call the, ra the trail Rainbow Trail. You can call it whatever you like. Just depends on whatever you want to call it. Doesn't matter. Um, now in here, we are going to make the light emission 1, which gives it a sort of neon effect. As you saw before, there's light coming out of the, uh, the trail. I can just quickly show you that again, actually. Um, it's very, like, sort of bright, vibrant trail, right? And that's because of the uh, high amount of light. So it's quite bright here, this, um, as opposed to it being quite dark. So it's very like neon style of a trail. We're also gonna change the transparency to zero. So this is makes it not at all see-through because unless you want your trail see-through, which is completely up to you, um, I'd make it not see-through. Um, and then we're also going to, uh, well, you can change the lifetime. I'm gonna leave it at five. So that means that the trail will appear for five seconds. And I'm also gonna make the max length 0.05. You can leave it at 0.1. What that really means is uh, how often the trail will detect the direction that your character is facing really, um, in effect. Now, the most important part of the rainbow trail is creating the actual rainbow effect. Um, so to do that, we're gonna create a color sequence. And color sequences are basically a sequence uh, of colors <laughs> that uh, change as while the, while the trail is uh, on, enabled. Um, so the first color we're gonna create is gonna be red, because this is a rainbow. So uh, sorry if I don't get all the names of the colors right. I know all the simple colors, but the last two colors are a bit confusing. Um, so we're gonna go yellow, I mean red, orange, um, red, orange, yellow, green, and some dark green. Um, Maybe slightly dark, lighter green actually. Um, and then a sort of lightish blue. Yeah, but... yeah that's better. Um, okay. Um, and then a darker blue. I'm sorry if I'm messing up the names of these. Um, and then we're going to have a sort of purplish color. Let's move this back a bit. A bit of a, a dark purple color. So, all right, and then lastly, we're gonna have a sort of lightish purple color. So very similar to the last color we had, um, but a bit uh, lighter. Then we're gonna put a bit there. Yep, that's about right. Okay, so we've now got our rainbow, mostly here, um, and that means that I'm just gonna move these along a bit so it's a bit more even the spacing between these um, because I think a bit off. Not really equal between them. Quickly move these along a bit. There we go. Okay, so we've now got our rainbow trail mostly done. Um, and we can't actually test this yet, and I'm going to show you why in a second. So to test this, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a script in server script service, which will put the the trail into the player every single time uh, that a player spawns. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define the trail. So the trail is game server storage trail, right? And that refers to the trail in the server storage, and we've stored it under the variable, oh sorry, variable of trail. And then we're going to say game players player added connect, and this creates a function every single time a player joins the game, um, and it's also going to have a variable created called PLR, which stands for player, and that represents the player that's just joined the game. Then we're going to say player character added connect function uh, chi <laughs> char, so character. Uh, and that stores the character that's just spawned into the game. So this function fires every single time the player's character spawns. And then we're going to say local player trail equals trail clone. So what that does is it 
makes a new variable called player trail, and that's unique to the a every single time a character spawns, it creates this trail. Um, and it's going to be a clone, exact clone of the trail that's in server storage. Um, and then we're going to say player trail parent equals char torso. And what that does is it puts the trail into the character that's just spawned. It's put, it puts it into their uh, torso. Then we're going to say player trail attachment zero equals char, so character, head, and then face front uh, attachment. Right, and what that is, that is is the nose attachment on the player. Um, and if you don't know what attachments are, you can read that on the wiki. I haven't made a tutorial on it. They're quite new. Um, but what it really means is there's a sort of green attachment on the player's face. It will also be in my trails tutorial if you want to watch that. Player, and then the second thing we're going to do is that player trail attachment one equals char he, um, torso waist back attachment. Um, so this means that the, tr the the trail will go between attachment zero and attachment one, and attachment zero is on the player's face, and attachment one is on the player's back at the uh, on their waist, the back of their waist. Um, so now, uh, every time the player joins the game, it should give them the trail which they can walk around um, with a rainbow trail behind them, uh, and it seems to have worked. So thanks for watching. Leave any comments in the uh, comments section. Um, if you have any questions about how to actually use the trail feature, there is a tutorial I've made um, on my channel. It should be in the description as well. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye.